Now, this week we've been uh, reporting on the problems of the prison system in England and Wales with drug abuse, violence, corruption and overcrowding all combining to, to threaten the safety of both staff and inmates. There's a significant impact too on mental health with rates of suicide and self-harm rising significantly since last year. Our correspondent Ed Thomas, cameraman uh, Tony Dolce and producer Noel Titheridge have spent a week inside Wandsworth Prison in South London. It is one of the biggest jails in Europe and this is the second of their exclusive reports. There are some distressing images coming up. Life inside Wandsworth. Who cares for the men behind these doors? All they say is, oh, lack of staff, lack of staff, we can't let you out. That like, needs to change, like, we're human beings as well. The self-harm and prisoners in crisis. You need help. Help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help. Help me. And the calls for change. The system doesn't work. Nothing works as it should, as it should work. For seven days, the BBC was given rare access inside Wandsworth to reveal the reality of life in an overcrowded, understaffed jail. On B-Wing, an inmate has been in a fight. He's in distress and has smashed up his cell. Uh, this is my artwork. Inside, we find Nathan. There's also a very large gun there. Yeah? Can you see that? He's self-harmed and says his mental health is getting worse. I've got personality disorder. I'm also um, signed off from the doctor um, for severe anxiety, and I only just received my medication yesterday. Are you asking for help from people? Yes, I am asking for help, but the service seems to be so slow. Uh, and Nathan isn't alone. So many here are in crisis. <laughs> it's my fault. No good. On our final day in Wandsworth, this man came to see us. Every inch of his body is covered in cuts. Desperate, he speaks very little English. Are you getting mental health help? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I is crazy. I is crazy. No sleeping every day. Sleeping. I can't. 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 And what about the illegal immigrant who sewn his lips in protest at being held in a jail? The amount of self-harm and self-inflicted deaths are on the increase. For prison officers like Steve Johnson, the demand never stops. What's the pressure like? If you can't look after vulnerable people, all right, in a safe environment, all right, people will get hurt and people will die. Do you think lives could be saved if there were more members of staff? Definitely. Definitely. There are demands all over Wandsworth. Nearly half the inmates are foreign, and many can't speak English. Are you from Romania? 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 So many Romanians. I'm from Romania. Like Nikolai and Raduta. They say they've served their time but are waiting to be deported. Three weeks ago, he Three weeks ago, he's finished my punishment. You know, let me go home. Do you want to go back to Romania? Yes, I want to go back. I don't want to come back here never. I'm from Romania, but it doesn't matter where you're from. But human rights are human rights. Make it because I don't have Twitter, no TV. But not everyone wants to go home. This is Gia's cell. This, there is very worse in this prison. I don't know. Unhappy with his room, but proud of his crimes. What are you in for? Uh, Pickpocketing. How much were you stealing a day? Uh, two or three thousand per day. Three thousand yeah, pounds yeah, per day yeah. out of people's pockets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm feeling how... proud of it. You're proud of yeah, it? Yeah, I'm going to do it again. What, here in the UK? I might come here in UK as well. I don't know how, but I'm going to try and come here again. To pickpocket? Yeah, because here you make a lot of money. Astonishing stories. But the governor wanted to show life in a prison, like this, officers wearing helmets to deliver a sandwich. I think it's important for um, anybody that doesn't really understand prisons to understand the pressure that we're under and what reform can do for us. Um, so is that why you've looked the cameras in, to see all of this? Absolutely, yeah, because I think the, the public need to understand what prisons are about today and they need to understand what reform will actually bring. The ambition to fix our prisons, to end the waste of lives lost behind bars. Ed Thomas, BBC News, Wandsworth. And uh, Ed is with me now. You've had exceptional access to this uh, prison, Ed, over the last uh, week, and you've highlighted some really uh, 
very serious problems, which I think lots of people have been very shocked by. Is there any one factor that you would highlight now which is, you think, causing more problems than others? Well, you speak to the prison officers who you saw in there, you speak to the inmates as well, and there's one thing that they say again and again and again, it's the staff numbers. Uh, and you can see it when you walk in, there's so few members of staff compared to the overwhelming number of prisoners. And the, the officers there will tell you that it's a struggle to unlock, uh, lock prisoners up, to take them out for exercise. And Hugh, that's before you begin to educate them or take them to workshops. So the challenge facing governors like Ian Bickers and governors all over England and Wales now is reform. This, this brand new, this new dawn social reform that's being offered to these prisons. This idea to give governors the power to control their budgets, to, to say where the money should be spent. And it's, it's important for two things. First of all, rehabilitation, to get these people fit and proper to rejoin society. And of course, to reduce reoffending. Okay, Ed, once again, thanks very much. Ed Thomas, therefore, as our correspondent.